Hello, I'm Eileen Wood, and this is today's episode of Bag Lunch. Today, we're looking at handbags that resemble cushions. They all feature tapestries. So if you notice, on my sofa, I have a number of cushions that are woven tapestries or needlepoint tapestries. And we also have bags that feature things of the same design. This first bag is from a company called Soare, and it's really kind of fun because it's clear plastic with some gold threads running through it. And what they have done is they have applied an unfinished needlepoint canvas to the front. Now this is how a needlepoint canvas is typically purchased by women who stitch needlepoint bags. It has the blank canvas in the background and the design stitched into the front, and women would typically take yarn and fill in the background in the color of their choice. But this is another example of how Soare used an unfinished tapestry, an unfinished needlepoint, to ornament the front of a bag. This is a black felt bag, and what they have done is they've taken the needlepoint tapestry that was not stitched, and they have applied with glue a number of little glass beads to the blank areas. So this gives it a bit of sparkle and a bit of dimension. And this was a very popular look for both Soare and their chief competitor, a company called Joel's. This is a similar bag in technique to the last in that once again, it features unfinished needlepoint applied to the front with some gold beading and additionally some uh, pressed brass elements. And this almost is a mashup of the under glass bags we've talked about earlier. And this is a bag that features a beautiful lucite bakelite type frame. And this is a bag that would date to the late 50s, early 60s. And it's both under glass, but also featuring the tapestry details. This is another bag by the Claire Handbag Company, and you can see how it resembles the last one in that it has a beautiful lucite or bakelite frame. And this one has a trapunto work tapestry on the front. And by trapunto, I mean that the, the tapestry is padded from behind and stitched to make the people dimensional. So they almost jump out of the background of the fabric. This is a beautiful tapestry bag done by the Soray Company. And once again, it features the trapunto detailing that you saw in the last handbag. Here we have a tapestry that's been stuffed and stitched to make the people jump out of the background. This bag additionally is a very large eccentric kind of shape. And I love bags like this because they make a great statement. Now, speaking about large bags that make a great statement, this is one of my very favorite bags of this type. This bag is also tapestry with trapunto work, done with a frame with brass corners. And it's very dimensional, and the people are really quite lovely. And if you just look at the sheer scale of this bag, this bag is amazing in its size. And if that isn't amazing enough for you, when I open the bag, there is a matching tapestry vest. So good things come in large packages as well as small. Thank you for joining us for today's episode of Bag Lunch. I look forward to seeing you again soon.